hey you guys welcome back to the sabrina la rumi channel and today i'm gonna take you guys outside it was looking good today so i felt like i should do a video outside so as you can read from the title it's like a deep thought thing like we about to do some deep thinking today okay so i'm 23 and i'm uncomfortable like is it safe to say that I can be uncomfortable at 23 years old? Okay, so I'm a single mom. I'm 23 years old. I have two kids. And yeah, and I feel uncomfortable at my age. Like I feel like I'm not where I'm supposed to be just yet. I know you're supposed to give it like time and stuff like that, but like is it really safe to say that i'm 23 and uncomfortable like is it okay to be uncomfortable at 23 in today's society like so like i don't mind to share what i'm going through in life because i'm honest and i'm gonna continue to be honest like really honest so people can be relatable to certain stuff <clears throat> and i'm comfortable being honest so yeah so, I said, I'm 23 and I'm uncomfortable. I'm by the woods, so you know, I gotta keep a check and make sure no shit crawling behind me. <laughs> so, I'm 23 and I'm uncomfortable. You know, like, I am going through a lot. I feel like I am getting nowhere. Like, I feel like I've accomplished a lot at 23, but not as much as I really want to. So, I feel like I got to keep working up my, you know, the rank, whatever I'm good at, and keep trying, like, new stuff, you know? But it's like, how can you thrive in a society like this? You feel me? You get what I'm saying? Like, with what? It's like, you barely can trust people. It's like, you gotta be on, like, you gotta be on guard now, like, more than ever. And I don't mean to keep looking off, but I gotta be on guard, like, when I'm out here. Like, I don't know if somebody gonna try to pop up behind me and fucking put me in the headlock type shit. It gets you like that, so I ain't gonna try to be too paranoid. But yeah, so it's like, on top of that, like, for me right now, I'm going through, like, a breakup from my kid's dad and I'm going through a breakup and it's like I'm processing that on top of processing like another situation when I feel comfortable I talk about it you know so it's like a lot of a lot of things are happening to me at once on top of that I gotta still show up as a mom I gotta still show up as a sister as a daughter as a, a niece as a aunt you know, as a mentor, like a sister, um, a cousin, like I still gotta show up in all these places. Like, and I know, you know, I know y'all can relate to that. It is so freaking tough, like to try to continue to do everyday life things as you supposed to do on top of going through like a breakup for instance for me i'm going through a breakup like uh it's like what a four year it was i was in a four-year relationship with him like now on top of that i'm still healing from things that happened in my past like and i didn't realize like i haven't healed until it's like now i'm given an opportunity i'm sitting with myself like right now i'm sitting with myself you feel me like i'm sitting with myself yeah so like i'm sitting with myself and i'm having to like really feel these emotions that are thrown at me like actually like you know when you go through a breakup you experience grief you could experience betrayal and you know certain stuff like that and it's like you gotta you gotta sit back and feel all these feelings as they come. All these emotions as they come, you gotta really sit with yourself and feel these emotions. But then you gotta learn how to keep moving forward too. At the same time, like, man, when I was pregnant, ooh, that's a story time. I went through hell. 
but you know i made it out so when i was pregnant um oh where's it at where's it at where's it at? is it on me is it on me he said it's not on me I gotta get up off this ground, yo. I'm make this quick. When I was pregnant in general, like with both of my kids, I did not know how to contain my emotions. Like they was all over the place. But it's like, you know, you gon' you feel like you feel how you feel, y'all. I gotta get the fuck up. <laughs> you feel how you feel, and when you feel hurt and stuff, like. It's gonna, sh when you pregnant, that emotion is gonna show and express itself 10 times four, like 20 times more. Like, it's gonna be like, you you're gonna get straight to the point. And so it's like, ooh, I went through a lot in both of my, both of my pregnancies. Yes. Actually, all three of my pregnancies, I um, miscarried twins. And that took a lot on me too. Like, it's like I'm still having to, I'm still having to like deal with, I'm having to sit with myself and deal with these traumas that I never really healed from. I just kept pushing forward and I pushed them aside instead of like feeling that shit. Like, you know how, you know, y'all know what I'm talking about when y'all feel the emotion, you don't want to feel, you go do things to cope with it, you know? So... I won't sit in with myself. I can be honest and say that. I was not sitting with myself. And now look at me. I'm sitting here sitting with myself. Like, I gotta sit with this. I gotta sit with this. And <laughs> it has been amazing, but mm, it's so many nights I cry. Like, so many days I cry. Like, so many days I feel empty on side on the inside. Oh my gosh, I can really go into a, a freaking story time on this. But like, I know you guys can freaking relate. Please say you can relate, especially about women. Like I know y'all men. I know. Come on, no, somebody can relate to me, man. Like, yeah. So, mmm. I'm just 23 and uncomfortable, y'all. Like, I don't know, I had to pose for the camera. On top of that, not to only mention, also to mention, like, everything is fucking hot. Like, they still trying to pay people, what, $16 an hour? Like, what is that going to do for real? That's why I was like, I'm not playing small no more, like, not anymore. But I don't want to talk you guys' head off, because I think I just hit, I think I just went random. It was supposed to be um, 23 and uncomfortable with my life right now. If you guys like this video, let me know. If you do, like this video. I hope you guys liked this video. Like, I hope you guys could relate. Ooh, sorry. Them, them little... Them little, uh, red little, uh, yellow little things be popping on you. That shit be itching, like. <laughs> but, um, yes, please let me know if you can relate to any of this. Like, I know some of y'all can relate to this. Like, on top of, I know I just said I was going to end this video. Like, on top of me, like, really wanting to move. I want to move from my apartment. And it's like, <sighs> You gotta secure that drive, that job first. Oh my God. There is baby ants all over my fucking iPad, y'all. I'm about to cut this video out. I'm sorry, I'm out of here. We gonna do another video, okay? Oh, well, thank you guys for watching my video anyways. I gotta get these ants off my freaking iPad, y'all. Oh my gosh.